Hello there, little timelines. Uh, or even big timelines, I don't really know. Uh, today, uh, I am going to be discussing one of the great classics, but not really a classic, because it's in the modern era it was made. It's a great book. George Hegel's Phenomenology of Spirit. Philosophy. Uh, it's a great book, I'm slowly going through it, and I'll be taking you on a journey with me to go through this book, uh, like, section by section. I'll show you, I'll, sh I'll show you a section, uh, a little bit later on. But how about we have a little introduction before. Uh, in this introduction, uh, I want to just show you the George Hegel and what time, uh, time age. Time age, I guess. The age he was living in and why he probably wrote this book. So, uh, George Hegel grew up in what's, uh, what's modern Germany, that area, uh, very Germanic influence. He is a German himself, you can tell by his name. Uh, he lived during the Holy Roman Empire back in, like, the late 19th century. He, uh, the, this was, like, at the ending of the Holy Roman Empire, right before Napoleon was coming in. Like, right before, like, a little bit until... Uh, he would come in. Napoleon, if you don't know, very uh, n well known French conqueror who conquered the majority of Europe but then later lost uh, due to other nations coming in. And for Gerard Tegel, this was a revolutionary idea the French Revolution led by Napoleon. So his book, of course, is revolutionary uh, in the time period and still is if I uh, if you read it and you should completely get it it's a great book you can get it on Amazon for a pretty cheap price I believe so uh, this book you can see it's translated by A. V. Miller with an analysis of the text and a foreword by J. N. Finlay or Finley I don't know uh, but it has a great description to the back right here and Good book, paperback. Yeah, so I'll be showing you now. Uh, we're just going to be going through the main chapters. So you can kind of see chapters like this. Uh, first chapter is called Consciousness. And uh, sense, uh, sense Certainty, or the This and Meaning. And uh, we're just going to be going section by section. We're starting with section 90. And, uh, it'll be awesome, really awesome to see this. And it's philosophy, not really history, but it goes with it. And I have a, a bit of notes for, uh, for, like, an introduction so you can get to know a bit about the topic. Uh, phenomenology, uh, a good definition that I have found is an approach that con concentrates on the study of consciousness and the objects of direct experience. And here's more description to all of these. Consciousness, the fact of awareness by the mind of itself and the world. So no, so something knowing about itself and the world, like recognizing its existence. That's how humans are classified as conscious beings. Then uh, another thing, a part of the feminology uh, Definition, it's a direct experience, which means experience gained through immediate sense perception, which is by the five senses, uh, you know, taste, touch, smell, feeling, the other one I always forget. Uh, yeah, so that's this is just a bit of an introduction, but we'll be going straight into the reading uh, next week. Next week exactly, so... Hope you will come along for this great ride. See you then.